This daily southbound freight train out of Raleigh is a major economic artery along the southeast corridor. Thousands of miles of branch lines flow into this main line, collecting and delivering goods to and from the far reaches of North Carolina. Ask the people who live along the branches, like Woodyard owner Clarence Joyner. The rail line is their economic lifeline. That is our, our livelihood in Pittsburgh. But several railroad companies want to abandon some 270 miles of branch lines here in North Carolina, like this 11-mile stretch between Pittsburgh and Moncure near Raleigh. The Seaboard Coastline Railroad calls this stretch unproductive. Unproductive, perhaps, for the large railroad company, but not for the several businesses and small towns that depend on it. Many of the businesses along the line cut, haul, and process wood from area pine forests. Woodyard workers say the loss of the rail service would hit the lumber industry hard. Well, there would be a lot of people out of a job because uh, it's too expensive to truck the wood. The Louisiana Pacific Lumber Corporation built its Pittsburgh facility at its present location because of the convenient rail service. Operators say their costs will skyrocket without the train. We're making about four cars of chips a week, which is relatively uh, about 12 loads of chips by truck. And the expense, you know, is less by rail than truck. Clarence Joyner says he'll lose more than profits if the line is abandoned. No, nothing else to do but close down. When the railroad closed down, you had nowhere to go. State officials are trying to prevent the railroads from abandoning the lines. They say abandonment will hinder future development in the state. But they've not been too successful at stopping it in the past. Meanwhile, the folks along the Pittsburgh Moncure branch line are hoping that each passing freight train will not be the last. Bill Whitaker, WBTV News, Moncure.